We welcome the report's intersectional analysis of the establishment and enforcement of an institutionalized system of discrimination and segregation against women and girls, and the impact on men and boys in resisting this institutionalized system of gender oppression. We welcome references to marginalized communities, including ethnic, religious, and linguistic minorities in the multiple and intersecting violations they suffer. We particularly welcome references to violations because of one's sexual orientation and gender identity. We welcome the report's clear most fully encapsulates the institutionalized and ideological nature of the human rights abuses against women and girls in the country. The pursuit of justice demands a multifaceted approach, including various accountability mechanisms, including establishing a Human Rights Council mandated mechanism to engage deeper in, into investigations and evidence collection to contribute towards accountability. With strategic coordination, this can exert heightened pressure on the Taliban. The Special Rapporteur's report places squarely into the view the responsibilities of international actors. We continue to call on all states to ensure that any engagement with the Taliban should not normalize the regime as it continues to violate international human rights. There cannot be an inclusive and stable Afghanistan without justice and accountability. Muchas gracias.